figure TV. R.I.P. to the juice. R.I.P. to O.J. Simpson. May he rest in peace. Y'all be sure to wipe y'all feet. Y'all in the house of revolution. That means hit the like button. Oh, I'm just getting home, y'all. We'll be going live. Let me get, let me get, let me get, let me get my stuff together. But I had to say something about this O.J. Simpson thing because I done seen a few coons out there. One particular uh, channel, Tim Black. Yes, you. I like your show, Tim. But you all the way out of, out of, out of line telling people they shouldn't mourn O.J. Simpson. Tim Black. You out of line. Now, a bunch of, probably some other people said it. I didn't say it, see them yet, but I just seen him. So I'm going to address you, Tim Black, and the rest of y'all house niggas out there. Let me tell y'all something. The O.J. Simpson ain't killed no goddamn white people. I'm sick and fucking tired of people saying a man killed some motherfucking body. Who? Who? Who did he kill? Yeah, he went to court. Found not guilty. I don't want to hear from you, you house niggas. Why wow, O.J. got away with murder? O.J. got away with shit. What y'all don't understand is is that lady Nicole Simpson was involved with the mafia, drugs, Hollywood, under life, uh, 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 underworld? Did y'all know that a, holly, a hitman, a white hitman, already came out and said that his brother? He, I think the man admitted to it. He killed her. And then another man came out and said, "Yeah, my brother the one killed her." They want to tell you that. And there's people on the record, on the books, saying, "Yeah, I'm the one killed Nicole." It was some mafia shit going on. Y'all don't understand that. You know? Yeah, we know O.J. Simpson was cooning in his early years. You know? And then, goddamn me, he got the uh, 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 the shock of his life to find out. I remember OJ Simpson was saying, you know, he, you know, he don't want to be seen as just a black man. And all that. I listen. I'm not here to judge my brother. That's my brother right there. I'm here to let America know who the hell y'all think y'all is to tell us something about OJ. When I, when y'all see this, I'm a George Washington was an honorable man. No, he wasn't. No, George Washington wasn't. He was a slave owner and a rapist. Wasn't nothing honorable about that man. That's just telling the goddamn truth. I, I, there was nothing honorable about any of those presidents who owned anybody. That kept anybody in bondage. But they'll tell you those dirty bastards was honorable people. But they want to hold their nose down on the juice. The sports world. I really don't give a shit about ESPN. Y'all clout chasing OJ. Salute to Cam and Mace who gave that man a job. That man died happy he was doing sports. Speaking on football. They, I, I used to hate for them to talk about Buffalo Bills. And don't talk about the greatest bill ever. OJ Simpson. The man... Oh, this cat. Hold on, y'all. Goddamn cat turned my motherfucking light off. Excuse me, y'all. But the man absolutely changed his life. When I say uh, he changed his life, I mean he went from uh, 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 thinking he was one of them to understanding you could never be them. They'll use you, abuse you, and discard you when they feel like it. So he came back home. He admitted he was wrong. You know? And then he was hanging with the... I'll never forget. Steve Coakley had O.J. Simpson in there doing one, one of the uh, lessons. O.J. Simpson was in there with Steve Coakley. You coons ain't on the, on the same level with Coakley. Coakley brought him into his bosom. That means O.J. was all right. With the revolutionaries. So I will not be having house niggas like Tim Black. Are you a house nigga today, brother? Man, you don't like what I'm saying to Ray, brother? Forgive me. Because when you got the nigga to come out and tell people, well, OJ, that he he, 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 he killed people, who did he kill? And I go, oh, I don't hear yeah, people just want to say OJ didn't do it. My nigga, he didn't do it. And they just because he had high price lawyers. You can have a high price lawyer all your ass won't and still be locked up. I just, huh? See, we thought OJ was getting away because he had a little money. Man, my people don't give a fuck about no money in America. Rich niggas, you ain't killing no white people and getting away because you got no money. See, we thought that. No, the nigga didn't do it. They try to set him up. They try to plant evidence with racist cops. That's why OJ beat the kid. That man ain't killed no goddamn body. And I don't care what nobody say. You didn't kill nobody, bro. You see his business. Now. Did he put something on the, the hit? Did he know something about the hit? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to get into all that into that. This is what I do know. America, you a wicked ass land. You a damn genocidal, 
country built on other people's stuff and you ain't stopped killing and stealing since the beginning. You're part of genocide right now. You're helping the usurpers, the, uh, 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 the colonizers. you helping the imposters over there right now with a genocide in Gaza. What are you talking about? America? So this is to anybody. Who think today is a good time to bash this brother right here? House nigga, your time will come. We all got to go feet first one day. And that takes some shots at all of us. So I come out to stand up for this brother. Now, it's a good brother. We see Fox News. They clout chasing OJ today. They don't give a damn about the juice. And we let them know we don't give a damn about them. ESPN, they clout chasing today. Ain't that something? When the man was alive, ESPN, you wouldn't say his name. You wouldn't even say his name. You would say, well, don't you know when you bro somebody broke a Bills record, they would say the record uh, has been broken. They wouldn't even say who held the record. OJ, and that's so disgusting because the man was found not guilty in court and then hit with a $33 million civil suit. Now imagine that. That's when I knew America. That's when I found out America was full of shit. That's a young man. Man found not guilty, but then they talking about you got to pay us $33 because you, you really had something to do with this. That's how disgusting America is. That's the setup. That's when you found out they they gonna come for these niggas' money. I never seen them. I never seen that ever again in life. Somebody not guilty, and then they, millions gotta come out your pocket. I thought I was not guilty. Why don't pay a million? Cause you black. So, you know, rest in peace to the juice, man. You know, say he died of cancer. You know, the trial of the century. That's all they ever gonna talk about. You know, that's all they ever gonna talk about is that trial. But this is what I do know. Who I do know. America don't got the right to judge no goddamn body. That's serious business. As long as they praise slavers and they praise rapists and killers. What are we talking about here? The children and they see we growing up and they telling you all about George Washington and them. They telling you it's a George Washington is my Hitler. I'm tired of telling people that I man, I was gonna get some shirts that said that when I first started my shirt business, my I posted that got some shirts that said George Washington is my Hitler, and I'm bringing them back out. That's my saying. Come on, people understand this. In my mind, don't tell me about Hitler. George Washington was worse. How many people did Hitler own? Hmm? How many slaves did Hitler own? Oh, he killed. He killed. George Washington them slavers was killing people. But George Washington also owned them. Told them what the can can't do. Anybody got a lie? They did. Also raped young girls, young women. Huh? Huh? Fuck it. Let's just talk about this. How is rape okay? Whenever you bring up those those early presidents, they was raping women. How is that? And they, oh, you don't understand the times. Are you kidding me? It was never a good time to rape or murder or own anybody. That's the piece OJ. You okay? Did you own anybody, OJ? No. You sure you didn't own people? No, I know you didn't own nobody. Well, damn, you better than George Washington at least. You know, I, I, I just... Uh, that's why I'm so glad that I have a platform and I have revolutionaries like y'all. Because I got to get make my rec my mind... I got to make this understood. I got to make my word heard. Uh, I don't believe OJ killed anybody. I heard the jokes. I even joked about it for a long time, but I looked into that goddamn case and I know about the white boy, the hitman, and his brother. And his brother is saying, my brother did that. He's a... Pro Look it up. Hitman in prison. He, he said he killed her. Police know this shit. They had a goddamn shakedown and a, a break them up of these niggas. OJ was getting too much into their world. See, they don't like that. When you in that world and then you can have access to all of their women. Their women was praising OJ. It was a problem. You see? You see? OJ stopped playing football. Start hanging out a little more. They're like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, they wise smiling. Huh? Somebody said some of them Kardashian kids could really be named last name Simpson. Come on, man. He was a player. So they trying to bring him down a few notches. It's a good thing he had Johnny Cochran. Make Johnny Cochran name live forever. Because Cocker pointed out all of the evidence to say, hey, this man did that. Hey, you mean? The gloves don't even fit the man. And people laugh, no, man, OJ was, he was trying to do his hands. The gloves didn't 
even fit the man. So everybody in the world know if the gloves don't fit, you must quit. Man, turn into some boss. Boss. Long live the juice. We got to make sure these goddamn dirty people know. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. We're not going to kick this man's family. Man, he still got children. And I'm so, man, I'm so proud of the kids of OJ Simpson that they still with their daddy. Uh, you know, as a man who know what it feel like for your baby mom trying to turn your kids against you, man, I'm so glad them kids still with their daddy. Because all the white world would have loved, not all the white people, just the racist ones. The racist whites, that's better. They would have loved for them kids to come out and disrespect them every day. And talk about how they just miss their mama and they hate their daddy. But you didn't get none of that. Mm -mm. You got strong young kings and queens standing by their goddamn daddy. So the racists hated that. And then you had Mace and Cameron with a legendary move over there. That's why these people dead clout chasing bastards. We building all our own platforms now. Look at the figure news program. I'm getting, my reach is official every day getting this news out here. Salute to Mace and, and Cameron. Brought OJ on to their platform. Brought Mark Jackson on their platform. These is people in the sports world that ESPN and them tried to shun. LeBron James ain't picked up Mark Jackson. LeBron James ain't can't ask OJ to sit down and do no podcast. Boulay niggas. You know, OJ used to be the bull that he turned from his wicked ways like Dr. King did, man. So, you know, let me calm down. I'm finna roll up some of this good revolutionary dinner. We will be going live. Let me put this information together. I just had to put this out there because OJ deserved better from the, our community. He didn't kill nobody. And I'll be damned if we kick him when he gone. Cold food. Follow me.